During 2015, my family and I spent our December holiday in Vipingo, Mombasa, visiting my father's side of the family. This is something we did very often. However, this time, this experience, this trip was different for me because I noticed something out of the ordinary. Most of the guards, waitresses, managers at all the hotels and restaurants we went to seemed to know my father pretty well. And I asked him, how is this the case? Was he simply just a very popular man in this small town? He later explained that they were his classmates, that he attended the same school and classes at most, as, as most of the people that he was greeting. Then I began to wonder, how is it possible that my father and his colleagues attended the same school, received the same education, grew up in the same community, yet ended up on different sides of the spectrum of life. My father then explained that it was his drive for education and undying motivation to overcome all odds in a community where education is not a top priority and money isn't easy to come across, all in the name of achieving his personal aspirations. This was the defining difference between my father and his classmates. During our visit, I noticed the same stigma in the community. The community forced to be socially and economically stunted due to the lack of value for education, as most grow up in there and live their last, the rest of their lives there. This touched me on a personal level because I have family that live in this community, my cousins, and I didn't want them to go through life without having the slightest bit of exposure to the outside world and all that it has to offer. I wanted to provide them with an inspiration to chase education and overcome their odds. But then I began to think, what could I do? At 16, what was my amazing idea that would change the mindset of a community? How could I even begin to make a difference? Books, I thought, it was the perfect solution. It would provide these schools with the resources that they were in dire need of, but above that, it would provide them with the exposure to the outside world and all that it has to offer. Now, this was a challenge on a personal level, presenting my ideas to others, beginning a whole school campaign. However, every time I was hit with a wave of hesitation, I remembered that if I'm not the voice of these children, then who will be? This entire program was made successful and manageable with the support of my friends, family, and the entire Brookhouse community. Exceptionally, within nine weeks, we managed to gather over 600 books. I and four classmates in June of 2017 went back down to Vipingo and spent four days in the area distributing the books and reading to the kids. This entire program was a success. As we were distributing the books to these children, we also underwent a formal ceremony with the heads of the schools, as well as the wife of the parliament representative of that area, in a clip that I will show you now. So, Shukran, shukran, na karibu mtiani. Mjambo tena. Mjambo. Kama vile mwanzangu aliposema, hizi zawadi zitatusaidia sana. Pia kule kulikuwa na uhaba wa vitabu, lakini sasa hivi naona tutaza kufanya bidii na Kenya mbocho tutasema tuarakishia kama zawadi matokeo. I hope wanafunzi wangu yale ambao maandio mtatilia maana ni then Tunashukuru kwa hizi zawadi na tunaomba wanafunzi tunataka matokeo mazuri kwa vipingo secondary na vipingo central. Mwaka huu vipingo central tuna class 8. Tunataka mafanikio mema. Nasikia. From that clip, it's clear to see that these children are more than grateful for these books and that it had a positive impact on their lives. And I know from keeping in touch with the school that these books aided these children in their English lessons, provided them with a chance for leisurely reading, and the subject-based books proved their positive impact on the children that set their KCP exams this year. I believe that my project has impacted these children positively and helped shape a brighter future for them because it's enabled them to have dreams that have a fighting chance to turn into a reality. Not just these children in Vipingo, but all around Kenya. Because it's clear that the, lack, the value for education and the availability of resources is a gap in our society. A gap that most in the best position to inflict change haven't taken the time to. 
So I believe that my project has brought awareness to this gap, and it's clear that more and more citizens are taking matters into their own hands and are willing to shape a brighter future for the youth of Kenya. My aim is that Vipingo was the first domino of many. As an audience here today, I challenge you all to overcome your own odds and help shape a brighter future for yourselves. But I also challenge you to overcome fear and help shape a brighter future for somebody else. I now leave you with a quote that giving when you're blessed in abundance is never a loss. Thank you.